The Eastern Cape Provincial Government today welcomes and deploys a team of Cuban doctors. This move is, is part of the containment and mitigation efforts against COVID-19. Earlier, the Eastern Cape Premier, Oscar Maboyane, shared these words as he welcomed them. Our relationship with Cuba was cemented by Commander Fidel Castro and our first democratic president, Nelson Mandela, beyond the struggle for freedom to improving health care, that since the establishment of the South African Cuban Medical Collaboration Program in 1996, over 800 South African students have received the best medical training in Cuba. I must add that all of them are students from poor households and many of them are from the province. Cuba supported the anti-apartheid struggle. They did not support it rhetorically. They place the resources at our disposal for us to win the war. We are not placing monetary value on human life. We'll preserve human life no matter what it will cost us. The sooner people realize, the better. We will be deploying your services across our province. MEC will come in later to explain that with a particular focus on our hotspots, Buffalo City is one of those hotspots. We have got our clusters, two clusters now, the emerging cluster and the current cluster that we have that is made up of the two metropolitans. So your services are needed by our people across this province and you will have to walk and travel the length and breadth and you know that. And that's why I've said to MEC, let's also look for all the Cuban trained doctors as they understand this uh, so that they can also be able, wherever they are, uh, be prepared to join you on the ground as you will be doing door to door, moving around, helping our people. I see you are combat ready as soldiers in white uh, to fight for South Africa and her children. And the only gratitude we can give you is to ensure that you return home safe after your work is done here in South Africa. We've got to look after you and make it a point that you are safe as we are doing with our own health care professionals in the country. Let me close uh, by arming you and all health workers with words of the father of your nation, the El Commandant Fidel Castro, when he said, and I quote, good athletes do not know what tiredness is. They do not know what discouragement is. Good athletes only know what victory is. Close quote. I have no doubt in my mind that with you in our team, we will ultimately win the fight against the coronavirus. Victory is certain. Thank you very much. So for more on this story, SABC News reporter Abongile Yangi spoke to the Eastern Cape Health MEC. A very good morning to you in studio. Well, indeed, we are coming to you from East London, where about 20 Cuban doctors have been deployed here in East London, where they were, where they were showcased by the Premier of the province, Oscar Mabuya. And a, a briefing just um, just concluded here, where he talked about how about the impact of that they will have here in the province and how they will help assist the province with the rapid increases of infections here in the province. They are hoping that um, these doctors will provide their expertise and um, surely curb the spread of the virus. But to tell us more now, I'm now joined by the MEC of Health here in the province, um, Cindy Swagomba. MEC, thanks a lot for your time. The Cuban doctors have arrived and um, Briefly explain the deployment procedures. How will they go ahead? Thank you so much. Yes, the Cuban doctors have arrived and we're thankful for that to the minister and the president of South Africa. In terms of the deployment, the deployment is going to be guided by our epicenters. We know that Port Elizabeth, Nelson Mandela to be specific, is actually having the highest statistics, followed by Buffalo City, followed by Chrisani followed by our tambo not that other areas are not having figures but they are a bit low then the distribution will then therefore be relative to the challenges of those areas um let me see they are here 
to increase the capacity to fight this arm. But you as a department, what are you hoping to achieve with this deployment? Is it enough with the number of infections? Well, let us not talk as if we don't have doctors. We do have. They are adding on those. But what is important and that I should highlight is that all of us are moving towards universal health care. And Cuba is known for actually its national health system, which to us is exactly the same as will be delivered through NHI, then suggest that the Cubans are going to instill and actually make us go back to a curative, I mean, a prevention approach to health giving, equally embedded in primary health care, which then such as such, 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 such will suggest, I'm sorry about that, will suggest that we are going to have a rub off of their practice as at a time that they will be leaving our country. Precisely because they'll be working together with our doctors in our own facilities, with our nurses and our communities. Um, let me see, um, which kinds of fields are they in? What do they consist of? What are their expertise? What do they actually do in, in the medical field? We have amongst them family physicians. We may have amongst them epidemiologists. We have amongst them uh, what you would call some engineers or bio medicals and amongst them what you would then actually be talking to people that actually deal with statistics information management and what you would then be calling bio statisticians and that group comes to about 20 it then suggests that it is a good mix to actually get into all the areas of need that we have both if you look at the statisticians they shall be talking to us about accuracy and synthesizing the taking of st of st of both screening and testing. Um, before I let you go, MEC, um, the call centre here in East London, where we mostly interview you, where you are mostly based to make key decisions in fighting this, uh, the spread of this virus. Um, four people who have tested positive for, the, for COVID-19, and I understand that it's closed now. What can you say about that? I understand that you, or you've also tested, and I believe your uh, results are still uh, coming um, what can you say about that my results have already come out i am negative in terms of those results but it doesn't necessarily mean that i shall continue to be negative if i'm not careful what then had happened in the call center is a reality of how have we have to carry ourselves during this time of course it Anything and any infection starts with one person. Then it suggests that at a point or at some stage, there was some kind of dropping the ball where we could have four in one office being positive. However, be that as it may, we have immediately decontaminated the area. We have equally actually now started deep cleaning. And obviously, by Tuesday, we'll be back in our offices and starting to say covid is indeed not staying forever in an area. Well, let me see. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you very much. Right. Bye. Well, that was the MEC for health here in the <laughs> province, <laughs> Cindy Swakomba, telling us about the deployment of these Cuban doctors. Well, the province said, um, she says that they are still hoping for more while she was addressing the media here inside this, co this resource centre. Well, from us here in East London, myself, Abongile Yankees, and colleague Vuyofunani, it's back to you in studio.